I'm going to show you about a new app that I found called Zipgrade. Uh, what Zipgrade does is it allows you to print off scantrons and use your phone and an app on your phone to grade those scantrons. Okay, so what you're going to do is go to the App Store and search for Zipgrade. The first one that pops up will be $9.99. You're going to want to get the second one. That one's free. Okay, the free version of Zipgrade lets you do 100 scans and then it charges you. So, and it won't charge you without you paying for it. It won't secretly charge like your Apple account or anything. But for two months use, it's a dollar. 99 and for six months use it's 6.99 so it's not bad if some if it's something that you're going to use all year um, but also you can get quite a bit done out of just a hundred scans okay so I'm going to show you how to use it you are going to select Zipgrade the app once you have it downloaded okay and then these options are going to come up down here okay you're going to select quizzes and this is just a quick start for it so we're going to do create new quiz and then you can print off a 20 question 50 question or 100 question answer sheet okay and let me show you what those look like this is what a 20 question answer sheet looks like and this is what a 50 I mean 100 question answer sheet looks like Okay, with the 50 and 100, the students can put in an ID number and it will tie that grade to that student in their ID number. With the 20 question, it just takes a picture of their name and then puts it, puts the grade to the side. And I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so let's do the 20 question one whenever you select the 20 question it's going to title it quiz one and you can click edit and change the quiz name okay we're going to edit the key and whenever you do the first one yours will be blank this has just been saved because I did it before okay and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stack of papers that the students have answered on their Scantron and I'm going to click scan in this top right corner Okay, so now I just hold it up and get those four corners. Okay, and then I click Save. Then I do Scan Papers. I get the next one. And it goes through it pretty quick. And you can see the grades popping up. It's saying 6 out of 20 was 30%. There we go. Okay, so now I go back and I can review the papers. And here I can see the correct answers and what percentage of students got them correct. Um, this one it scanned twice because I held it over too long or maybe it was a little blurry. You can swipe and delete. Okay, so now if I wanted to go, you know, to Sheldon Cooper's, then I can see what question he got wrong and what his correct answer was. It takes a picture of that Scantron. Okay, I can also go to item analysis and I can see that 0% got question 1 right and 57% got question 2. Um, and I can see exactly how many people chose each one. I can also click on the question and it will show a graph. Okay, if I look at the papers, sorry, if I go to review papers, if I look at them and I happen to notice that the correct answer that I marked was E, but in fact the correct answer was A, I can go back to edit key and change number one to A. And then when I go back to the grades, it's already regraded for me. So now number one is right. See, now number one is right. I don't have to rescan just because I made a mistake on the key. Okay, that's what I really like about this. Okay, now you can, if you want to do the student ID thing, you can go to students and tap new and do 
enter in your students' names. And you can either assign them a ID if it's their ID for, that they use for school, um, or it gives them one. Okay, but if it's one that they already have, it's going to be a lot easier for them to remember. Okay, so for example, I have mine in and I have 13847 is my ID. Okay, so now when I go to quiz 2.1, this is a 100 question quiz. Okay, there's the key. Okay, when I get ready to scan my papers, see there's mine. It's going to pick up my student ID number and it's going to grade it. So I got 100% questions correct. I got 100 out of 100. Okay, so if I wanted to go back and go to students, so here is where I would have all my students listed, I can select an individual student and all of their quizzes will pop up right here that they've taken. Now, if you notice it didn't do quiz one, that's because we just did the 20 question quiz and that just takes a picture of their name. It doesn't tie it to an ID number. So if you want to have record of all of their quizzes, it's going to be right here but it's got to be a 50 question or a 100 question quiz. Now you can do just 20 questions on a 50 question answer sheet. It doesn't have to be 50 um, but the way around it to you can still only do 100 scans and so my way around that would be to print off a 100 question scantron like this and maybe do 10 10 answer quizzes or a couple of 20 answer quizzes and then when they're all done with 100 then you have multiple grades. Um, that way you're getting 10 scans per student instead of having to count each little test that they do as one scan. Um, but if it's something you want to use, uh, $6.99 isn't too bad for a year's use. Um, but as you're using it, it will say, hey, you've used 50 of your scans of your hundred scans do you want to upgrade. Um, but I like this better than clickers uh, if you're having to do something where you need to track data because on clickers it does not allow you to see all the students like this. Okay you can't on clickers you can't go back and see how Haley Turner did on all of her quizzes. You can just go to the one question and see how she did. Okay, and this one also does the whole student or the whole class, sorry, item analysis. It also does the whole class. Okay, so it has a little bit more features than clickers, but um, you only get 100 scans and clickers is unlimited. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Um, the way to get the Scantrons is you're going to go to zipgrade.com and then you are going to click on answer sheets and here's where you can print out and you just click uh, click the PDF that you want okay so the 20 the 50 or the 100 Okay, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email and I will try my best to answer them.